hello to all my friends out there. So this is How the Poor Half Lives, part two. Okay, if you've been following me, you know I've been harping on gathering up all the fragments, and I'll show you why. Here is a few of the fragments of food I have, you know, just in my half-eaten package. And, you know, I'm always saying, um, if somebody you know needs food, go into your half-package-eaten packages. And then I have rice, brown rice, that's half-eaten. I have white rice that's half-eaten. And I have a small bag of rice. And I have another package of beans. So... Your friend doesn't have any food. You can afford to be generous. And you tell the person what to do with this stuff. So you're going to make beans with vegetables. And so hopefully you have some nice big bags of carrots. So you can give them some carrots to go in their beans. I'm praying for you all at night, by the way. Hope I don't catch anything on fire. So hopefully you have a big bag of, of carrots. And uh, hopefully you have onions. And then, you know, you can't always get, you can't always get um, celery, so you can use celery flakes if you have them, but they're not necessary. And so when you make these vegetables, and you can use any vegetables that you have in the house, you can use potatoes, you can use sweet potatoes, you can use frozen vegetables, whatever you have. And this goes for your freezer too. And then you're going to give them some, want, uh, some um, olive oil. Or, if you don't feel like you want to give them your olive oil, give them a little lard. Give them a little uh, Crisco. I buy it at Dollar Tree because you need a little, um, you need a little fat in your, your beans. And then uh, give them a little sugar. And then a little salt and pepper. I'm telling you, there are people with no food in the house. Nothing. And, and some tea. And so then your friend can get by. But another thing, if you don't have that much food, go through your, um, go through your kitchen and gather up your fragments and evaluate. And maybe... Maybe you have dry onions. Maybe you don't have any carrots. That's okay. You don't need vegetables. Maybe you have a few frozen vegetables. Maybe the food bank gives you some canned vegetables. And so you're going to be able to survive just by gathering the fragments in your, your uh, kitchen up. If you're, if you're getting low on food, go through your kitchen bit by bit and create a box of half-eaten food. And go to the food bank now and pick up the food, the free food, and stockpile food and keep that food boxed up so that within a matter of minutes you could be out of the house with that food and out of there. So this is gathering up the fragments of food and this will enable you to survive, you know, until payday. And if you have a friend who's like low on food, you can afford to give them some of this food. You might not want to go into your stockpile, especially like if you're in one of these disaster areas that's likely to flood and you're, you're likely to lose everything. You know, you don't want to leave somebody hungry. Uh, you know, I heard uh, there were people in the, um, where they were going to get the free food who were really trying to grab too much food, but it's understandable. So make sure that's not you. You know, just prepare a little bit each day and stay with me. 
and it's all going to start making sense. And so tonight when I make the beans, I'm going to make some. I will use this little bag of beans, and I will use this little bag of rice. This is just enough food for one person. And um, how I make the beans is I uh, go through the beans to make sure there's no rocks. I wash the beans really good. It takes you a while to get them clean, you know, and I rub them in between my hands and a lot of dirt comes off. Then I bring them to a boil and I let them set for one hour and then I rinse them. Then I start making the beans. Okay, when I make the beans, I just put the olive oil, the salt, pepper, and sugar, and whatever spices if I'm going to use. Oh, here they are. I like lemon pepper in my uh, beans. That's yummy. And then I have celery flakes. And so if you have garlic salt, that's nice. Or if you have garlic. And then if you have uh, dry onions, in case, always keep those in case you don't have any uh, fresh onions. And try to hang on to these little containers. You know, if you buy big amounts you could put some in a little um, container and then I cook the beans you know after I put the olive oil I bring them to a boil I turn them down and I cook them and I stir my beans continuously and then when they're almost done then add the vegetables whatever vegetables you have tonight I'll probably just put a few uh, frozen vegetables to make my uh, beans almost like a bowl of vegetable soup and then you have your rice and a small portion of um, meat and say all the meat that you had was Vienna sausages you've seen me fry them in fact I might do that I might uh, eat the turkey burger tomorrow and fry the Vienna sausage tonight to show you and so okay you guys go through the kitchen now and another thing is make sure that if you have to evacuate you can get all your fragments of food out as well okay you guys God bless you all